Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Trisha and in today's video, we're gonna do some full decorating in my living room area. Whenever I call the professionals in to get my floors cleaned, you know I'm gearing up for the holidays and my favorite season to decorate my home. There's something about sparkly clean floors that get me so excited. I actually missed getting this done last year, so it has a lot of buildup, it is way overdue, and it shows. Watching these floors come back to life is so satisfying. The next day, I decided to move the furniture back to the original layout I had before the holidays last year. A fresh layout always gives the room a much needed reset. I pulled out some decor and florals to get started. You all know I am an avid thrifter, but I do love mixing in some new as well. I will share as you decorate with me what I purchased recently, what I thrifted, and what I'm using from last year. I'm so excited, let's get started. Because this is right next to these oversized frames, I always like going with something really tall here. Usually I have a tall lamp, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit just to give it a different feel. I shared with you a couple of weeks ago some items that I picked up for my fall decorating. I did pick up a couple more stems. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up using, but I really wanted to have different options just to see how everything comes together. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I wanted some shorter stems, and I also wanted these colors. These were $2.99 and 40% off, and they came in two colors. So this lighter, more neutral color, and then this with the different tones in it. So I got a couple in each. I also got these stems, which I thought were so beautiful. This has the combination of colors that I want to go with, has that nice burgundy color and then some other muted colors in there. These were $10.99 and 40% off. I picked up, I don't know, three or four, maybe five, not sure. And I also just got one of these. I got just one because I figured this would be a nice little accent in something. So we'll put that there. I got these at Michael's. I generally don't like the florals at Michael's, but sometimes when I see something there that I like, I really like it. So I don't like most of what I see, and then I see something I really like. Not sure what type of flower it is, but they're two different colors. This one is neutral, off-white, and these have that same color combination like I told you I wanted to use. So it does have that nice deep burgundy with the changing colors of the leaves. I loved these. These. So I want to use this on that cabinet there and I'm gonna use this vase that I used last year This was a set of two that I picked up at the thrift store and I changed the color on this one I also had these from last year and I picked up a couple more. I'm just gonna add this into that This single one that I got, I'm just gonna stick this somewhere in the middle of it all, just to make it a little interesting. There we go, love that. I wanna keep it really simple over here. This guy I thrifted when I went on a trip to Savannah. I shared him with you. I have been holding on to him and so excited because I wanted to use him in my fall decorating. Styling these shelves usually takes me quite some time because they all have to kind of work together. So I do a little bit and step back and I keep adding and taking away. I always like doing some books on this end of it. I picked this up at the thrift store. It was originally 15 and 50% 50 off, so I paid 7.50. I have another one that's similar to this, but this one is bigger and I love the little feet on it. I'm gonna do these in there and I'm gonna use this floral sponge there.
I found this huge bag of tapered candles at the thrift store for $2. I always like having tall items on that top shelf, so I'm using the colored ones in this candelabra I also thrifted a few months back. I'm not going to be lighting these, just using it for decor, but to make it stay safely, I'm melting the wax on the bottom so they fit snugly. This was a vase I did a DIY on. I share this with you guys, love the colors in it. And I also picked up this brass flower at the thrift store. So I put that same floral sponge in there just to hold it. And I'm gonna put it right next to that candle holder. I got this frame at the thrift store for $8 and I loved the style of this frame, loved the dark color, really loved that aged print in there. I thought this was so beautiful. I'm going to try to use it here and I also picked up this bookend at Home Goods. It was $15. I paid $13 because there's a little chip on the corner here. I only really wanted one. There were several others. They all had a little bit of a chip. This was the only one that had these really nice dark moody colors on it and I love how these work together. So I'm going to try to do a vignette here with these two items. This is an end table I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. I really wanted something like this with some character and detail for the side of the chair. I've had this for several months and I have every intention of refinishing it, but I just haven't gotten around to that. So I'm just gonna use it. And I didn't realize it was as tall as it was until I got there. However, when they brought it to me, it actually came off of the legs that base is just held on by these dowels so it's just a matter of putting some glue but i really like it like this as well i mean i love the legs but i just think it's too tall and i actually like it the way it is i definitely need to do something on the bottom there maybe put some sort of leg on it so it doesn't look like it's just cut off this height is perfect so i'm just gonna use it that way for now until I get around to refinishing it. Then on the other side of this chair, I'm just going to use this end table. This was also a DIY I shared with you guys. So I'm just going to put this at the side of this chair. It will serve this chair for like drinks or anything like that. This vase I shared with you when I redid my entryway. I used it there with some florals during the springtime. I didn't think I would use it beyond that, but this vase and this color worked best with these florals. These were the ones I shared with you on that last video with the fall ideas. If you missed that video, make sure you go back and take a look at it. All of this would make more sense if you saw that video. The TV is on a console instead of up on the wall. That's the way I like it. I think it's a lot more comfortable when you're sitting watching TV with it more or less at eye level. So I chose to have the TV on the console, which means that I can't do anything too tall on the coffee table. So I tend to keep the florals or anything that I do here kind of low. I did end up clipping these. These were super long and I love them. I tried them in different vases and I thought it looked really nice in here. But this color is going with the candles I used up there and in some of the florals over there. And I think this color just works really well to pull everything together. Love the way this looks. This is a copper tray I shared with you when I 
first started thrifting videos. This was quite a while. This is one of the first things I thrifted. I like putting it on the wall, but I think this color is so warm and so beautiful for fall. I thought it would look nice here on the coffee table. I also thrifted these two Onyx candle holders. I'm not sure if I shared this with you before. I may have. I added two of the candles from that baggie that I got. These are some old candles. This one is broken in two places there and it has some discoloration which I think really looks nice. It sort of looks just like the base of this. And to create different heights, I just used one of the shorter ones because there were a couple broken ones in the bag. I shared some pillows on that last video. I did get a couple more. Once I started really narrowing down the colors and the items that I wanted to use, I had to go on the hunt for different pillows with colors that sort of tie everything together. I really love this. I did share this with you. I got this on Amazon. This is a linen pillow with some embroidery leaves on it, which is quite beautiful. And this one is a Euro Sham from Target. I used this last year. It's really for bedding, I would imagine, but I just love using it here because it's so soft and comfortable and I think the color works well. And then I picked up a couple more at Home Goods. I am trying to just buy pillow covers because I have so many inserts. Only a few days ago, I pulled out all the suction bags with inserts and I did not realize that I had so many. I thought I needed some more, but I had so many. I actually donated half of what I had and just kept the ones that I think that I would use. But a lot of the pillow covers that I see that I like, they are hundreds of dollars and I'm not gonna pay hundreds of dollars for a little pillow cover so i always end up right back at home goods and they sell it with the insert so i have more inserts this one i really really love the pattern this one was 20 dollars, so that's really pretty and i got these lumbar pillows i think i'm going to use this on the two chairs there this is a, like a play on that burgundy color it's like a lighter muted color and it goes really well with it i also love the fabric this is south florida and i don't like anything that's uh, too warm this was 25 dollars and i picked up two of them for there i also got this throw that's another thing i didn't realize how many i had i went through all the throws i kept all the ones that everybody loves to grab and i also picked up this one at home goods this was 25 dollars and the fabric on this it's the same sort of fabric like the euro pillow it's a lighter green but it's the same fabric and it's very very comfortable the back of it has this stripe which I don't know if I would use the striped side of it, but I'll probably de decorate with just the plain color. And this pillow is, oh my gosh, when I saw this, I thought this is exactly what I was hoping for when I ordered some of the pillows that I did on Amazon. The velvet one that I got, once I started to pull everything together, I realized it was just too brown. So when I went to Home Goods, I was looking for a velvet pillow in a nice pop of color and I love this color because of the light it's probably looking really pink on camera but it isn't it's between like a brown and a burgundy if that makes sense it's a really nice rich color this is 24 by 24 and it was $30 I think this was my favorite purchase of this entire fall decorating season For this area, I want to use this vase. I think I'm going to use these in the entryway area here. These are the ones I shared with you earlier. This is a vase I also got at Home Goods a few years ago because this is so narrow here. So I always go for things that are tall and slender or very narrow. I thought of doing something different here, but I really love this lamp. I'm not ready to put it away just yet. So I'm gonna put this right back here. This is quite practical. I really love this here. I love the height of it and I love the color with everything. These are also thrifted items I shared with you prior. There's a little wooden box with some gold inlay and a little brass apple tray.
This coffee table is a bit of a challenge for me. I have never had anything on the end of the sofa when I had this layout before. So it feels a little strange having something on the end here. And I think a lamp will work best, but I'm gonna have to try out a couple lamps. I usually have that standing lamp and one on the unit over there, which I just replaced with that huge floral bouquet. And I always have one on the buffet over here. So I tend to have those two brass lamps, but I think I'm gonna eliminate eliminate the brass lamps just because I've had them here for the entire year and I want to do something a little bit different but I may have to put one of those brass lamps here or I may try out a couple others that I have and see what works but I wanted to share this with you I was in the mall with my son a couple weeks ago school shopping we were walking by this store and immediately I just remembered being in Barcelona some years ago the store was called Muy Mucho that was definitely the store that I was in when I was there and this is the only location in the US so this is their first and only location it is the cutest store they had the most beautiful baskets and greenery and candle holders and candles really gorgeous I picked up three candles they were I think $3.95 each and they smell amazing warm beautiful colors I absolutely love these I can't wait to use them so I think I'm gonna use it on this side table and then I'm gonna play around with some lamps I have a couple new thrifted items and some other items I got at home good so I just want to share it with you I did share this basket on a previous thrift haul months ago I have been using it in my office for like paperwork and files but I think I'm gonna relocate it to here I have a big round basket that I use in here with all the extra throws and pillows but I'm gonna relocate that to one of the bedrooms and do something a little bit different in here I love the darker color of this basket and I found this one at the thrift store last week which is so beautiful love the top on it there I only paid like four or five dollars for this it did smell really weird so I gave it a good bath and I had it in the Sun all day today so it has no smell right now but I'm gonna put some essential oil just to give it a nice fragrance the only thing I didn't like was these black rubber legs not really sure what I'm gonna do about that but I do want to incorporate this into this space I also thrifted these two on a fruits an apple and a pear I thought the colors were so beautiful I think I'm gonna incorporate this somewhere in here also got this candle at home goods it's a soy blend wax but I loved the color of this candle it smells good as well I love the frosty dark brown color of the jar love the wooden top and the leather detail on the top there it kind of reminds me of a pumpkin I just love the look of it I think I'm gonna use it on this little side table here and finally I pulled out some pumpkins from last year and I'm just gonna sprinkle them throughout make sure you are subscribed hit the bell and set the notification to all that way you don't miss upcoming videos I will be completing the space my dining and kitchen areas don't forget to like this video and let me know what is your favorite item or idea from today enjoy mm -hmm.